Happy New Year, everybody. Welcome back to Investor Intel. I'm Peter Clausey. Today, we're talking to my old friend, Thomas Smink from Hemostemics, HEM on the Venture Exchange. Hi, Tom. Happy New Year, Peter. Good to see you. Nice to see you again. Uh, you were absent for a little while, and your absence was noted on a variety of bulletin boards. Welcome back. What Thank happened? You very much. Uh, thank you very much. We've been uh, we've been head head down, busy uh, working on bringing hemostemics uh, back, uh, you know, into uh, commercial form. And the main target of hemostemics is to prevent the loss of limbs and the treatment of your heart following a heart attack. And I know you've got all the technical details. You've been loading up the board and the advisory board with very qualified medical personnel. Yes. To what end? What's the goal of all of that? Yes. Yeah, so we added, uh, you know, two physicians, Dr. Chichiri and Dr. Gianetti at McGill University. Um, we added uh, Dr. Von Schwartz at UCLA, uh, Dr. Galeri at the Boltzmann Institute. These are stem cell scientists who have done due diligence on hemostemics and, uh, you know, and agree that this is uh, uh, going to be a first to patient approved therapeutic to treat heart disease and to treat uh, critical limb ischemia, amongst other diseases of ischemia. And so, so they're, the, the, they're joining the board and the advisory board is a form of validation for you because is, hemostemics pass their due diligence. Exactly right. So uh, let's talk about the market for a bit. 75 million shares out trading around, you know, you bounce between like 15 and 20 cents. Yes. Why? Yes. Well, there's a legacy issue there, Peter, which is uh, one that you're well familiar with. We, we, you know, we did a rescue of this company and the legacy issue is really that the stock is trading on a legacy value. Um, it hasn't really caught the imagination yet of the investing public. And what will make that happen? The I think the uh, the announcements through 2023 are are really milestone announcements uh, that you know we've alluded to in the appointment of Dr. Gianetti and Chicheri at McGill uh, in in the November announcement where we discussed uh, you know they're coming on board to help us with financing introductions, with due diligence responses, with design of uh, the uh, fourth heart study uh, with uh, re-establishment of production at, uh, and so those are significant milestones and, and reaching uh, any one of those, it should be a, uh, should have a significant impact. Now you mentioned production. I find that interesting. Apart from proving up the technology, you want to get into your own production and be your own vertical supply chain. Exactly. So, you know, it's what the, the stem cell industry, uh, the reason it's gone uh, to a donor stem cell focus, in my view, just to keep it simple, is that you can take a donor cell and you can multiply it uh, a thousand times and thereby theoretically have a product that can be used to treat a thousand people. Uh, in hemostemics case, we take your blood we process your stem cells from your blood and we create a therapeutic that regenerates your heart or saves your limb. Uh, and that is viewed as a service business. We've figured out and patented and are working with suppliers to scale that. So we can take that to 4,000 uh, or more batches a month. And, you know, the numbers are very significant at, uh, at $25,000 a treatment, $30,000 a treatment. You know, obviously, uh, the the numbers get um, uh, very large very fast, and so. But you have to prove to the world you can do it. And uh, we've we've got the uh, Peter Pavlin has been our lead engineer on this. He's been working on this uh, first in two thousand and eight, and now for over a year, where we've gone out and looked at the whole industry. Um, and and benchmarked our, our technology against the industry, and we're uh, and we're very confident that we have a uh, you know not only a very interesting technology in terms of ACP, a technology that works, which we think we've proven, uh, but we're able to scale it. So, with any forward-looking information, there's a disclosure of risks and 
and, and interferences that could get in the way of that happening. But your goal is to be in production this year. It sounds like that's right. We'll be in we'll be in back in production this year, and and uh, and that for clinical trials and for uh, compassionate care. Lots of news coming. Yeah, lots of news coming in 2023. This is a this is a. You know, last year was a, a turnaround year. This year is is uh, hit the get, hit the pedal and go. Well, you know, I'm a shareholder and a cheerleader, so I'll be watching closely. Let's do this again in a couple of months. That sounds like a great plan, Peter. Thank you. Hemostemics, HEM on the Venture Exchange. I'm Peter Clausey for Investor Intel. Have a great day.